so the need for the probabilistic method what is the need for this uh, probabilistic method so we'll study so the hosting capacity was uh, calculated using the uh, deterministic method so with those methods the highest consumption is compared with the uh, lowest production and uh, the lowest consumption with the highest production the probability that for an example uh, over voltage limit is exceeded so it's not calculated and typically it is assumed to be zero the amount of uh, distributed generation that can be connected is uh, determined by uh, lowest amount of consumption at the highest amount of production the deterministic approach for uh, calculating the hosting capacity is also referred as host case approach to be fair uh, the feeder is obtained by uh, multiplying so called uh, after diversity maximum demand per customers with uh, the number of uh, customers so the after diversity maximum de demand is uh, a demand per customers that with uh, high probability uh, will not be exceeded so in case of uh, strong uh, correlation between the production and consumption that is after diversity minimum net demand so could be suitable a uh, design parameter for developing such method and uh, a simple guideline for estimating their value uh, will require large amount of measurements and uh, simulations to be uh, better understand the stochastic uh, properties of consumptions together uh, with a uh, different types of uh, generation so we will attempt to develop some of these uh, methods here because uh, we suffer from uh, same lack of uh, suitable measurements data that everybody uh, are feeling with instead uh, we will just uh, illustrate this stochastic design method for a simple system so among that uh, the system um, needs to be studied first so moving on so the introduction to the probability uh, approach uh, describes uh, describing the voltage variation in uh, distributed network so we will consider a simple uh, system supplying only one load uh, shown in the figure so instead of uh, concentrate on a load the load p and q can also be considered as an equivalent load which will result in the same voltage drop uh, for an example when load is equally distributed along the feeder the equivalent uh, concentrated uh, load is half the total distributed load but uh, both active and reactive power uh, is uh, given by the following expression you can see that the voltage at the location of the load is in case in this case at the end of the feeder is found by uh, the following expression that is uh, u is equals to e minus rp minus xq where uh, e p and q are random variables uh, describing means of uh, probability density function or uh, the probability distribution function furthermore any correlation between this uh, e p and q should be considered uh, resistance r and x is uh, reactance of the feeder so it is considered in a deterministic uh, parameter so they do show some random variation for example the change in the resistance with the uh, temperature but uh, those uh, do not impact any results so the impact of this variation on a uh, voltage drop is like uh, uh, less than the approximation made by uh, the above uh, equation that is u is equals to e minus rp xq so we will consider the feeder resistance and uh, reactance as a deterministic parameter moving on you see the probability density and uh, distribution function from uh, random variable x the probability distribution function fx uh, gives the probability that uh, random variable does not exceed a certain value that is f of x is equals to pr uh, where x is uh, less than or equal to small x the probability density function f of x is a derivative of uh, probability distribution function so f of x uh, is given by uh, d by uh, dx differentiation of d by dx uh, f x of x 
the probability density function gives uh, the probability that uh, random variable is uh, close to the given value so in mechanical terms this can be expressed as or represented as f of x delta x is equals to uh, pr uh, x is less than capital x uh, is further less than or equal to x plus uh, delta x these are the following uh, relations that gives the probability for our uh, density uh, probability for a uh, distribution function moving on distribution function for a uh, random variable consider uh, the two random variable here x and y uh, with uh, joint probability density function as f of x comma y and uh, this joint probability distribution function f of x comma y is the there are two f of x comma y and a small f of x comma y and a capital x comma y small f represents the probability density function two uh, two random variables uh, x and y so uh, this are uh, the two probability density functions are given so at the third random variable that is z which is obtained uh, as a function of this uh, order of two variables that is z is equal to g of x comma y the probability uh, distribution function of z is obtained from the following expression so f of uh, f sub x z is equals to uh, double integration g x comma y is less than z so f of x comma y uh, dx and uh, dy so this are the limit where uh, g of x comma y is less than z so when uh, x and y are independent variables so that here f of x comma y is equals to uh, f of capital x of x into f of capital y of y so this can be rewritten so where uh, x uh, f of z of z is equals to double integration again uh, g of x comma y is less than z so f of x comma y dx dy for uh, most of the function solving the uh, integral uh, can be done only uh, numerically however for uh, some function analytical uh, simplification are possible for uh, some of the two random variables like z is equals to x plus y we obtain the following expression that is f of uh, z of z is equals to integration that is minus infinity to infinity f of x uh, uh, dx so uh, to the product of again integration from minus uh, infinity to z minus x f of y uh, dy and also we can write this uh, the generalized uh, form that is uh, uh, minus infinity to infinity to infinity f of x uh, instead of that uh, dx and dy we can uh, further simplify and write it as f of y uh, z of x minus y dx uh, as the second uh, example for a linear combination of these two random variables z is nothing but uh, ax plus uh, by the possibility of this uh, distribution function uh, will be given by f of z is equal to z minus infinity to infinity uh, here uh, f of x comma x where f of y is equal to z minus uh, ax divided by b to the dx this is a second second example of linear combination of two variables this all those thing all these equations you need to memorize and uh, reproduce moving on so we see this uh, mean and standard deviation so consider uh, stochastic variables again x and y here with the expressed value mu of x and mu of y and uh, standard deviations will be uh, rho of x and uh, rho of y a new uh, stochastic uh, variable that is uh, z is a linear combination of this x and y so z is equals to a of x plus uh, b of y the expected value of uh, new variable is obtained as a linear combination of uh, expected value for uh, original variables that is uh, mu of z is equals to uh, a mu x and uh, b mu y where x and y are stochastically independent the standard deviation of the uh, of y the new variable is obtained from uh, rho z is equals to root of uh, rho square rho suffix x square plus uh, b square plus uh, rho 
uh, y square where uh, the original variables are not stochastically independent their uh, dependency can be qualified through so called covariance uh, c of x y is equals to e of x y minus e of uh, x into e of y the standard devi uh, deviation of uh, z is equals to ax plus by which is obtained from the following expression uh, rho z is equals to root of uh, um, uh, rho square plus uh, rho x square plus uh, b square plus uh, rho y square plus uh, 2ab uh, c of xy so this expression holds for any distribution however uh, they they are most useful when uh, we assume that uh, the random variables are normally distributed so in our next coming session we'll see we'll make uh, this assumptions uh, but the resulting expression for the expected value and standard deviation holds generally so the calculation for the example of 95 percentile however holds only for normally uh, distributed variables but not to others moving on you see some normal distribution ah. with uh, most probability distribution uh, it is possible to obtain analytical expression for the distribution function of the voltage magnitude as uh, we discussed in previous uh, slides yeah, even for a simple uniform distribution and even without considering the voltage at the starting of feeder ran as a random variable the calculations and uh, uh, resulting expression becomes rather complicated the main uh, expectation is that uh, normal distribution when where the mean and uh, standard deviation can be obtained easily so let the active power consumption be p um, normally distributed with uh, uh, mean that is uh, mu p and the standard deviation uh, sigma or uh, sorry rho p um, and the reactive power q is also normally distributed with uh, mean that is uh, um, mu rho q the standard deviation will be uh, sig sorry uh, rho q the voltage drop r p plus uh, x q is then uh, uh, normally distributed here with a standard deviation of uh, uh, root of r square plus rho square p plus uh, root of x square plus uh, uh, rho square q so adding uh, additional uh, random variable is uh, rather straight forward now for an example for an voltage at the end of the feeder consider u is equals to e p r p minus x q uh, the mean standard deviations are uh, just we have to add uh, that uh, mu mm, uh, mu of u is equals to mu e minus uh, mu uh, r p uh, minus uh, x mu q when we consider the correlation uh, between the random variable uh, the expression for standard deviation becomes more complicated so the complicated equation is represented as uh, rho square uh, u is equals to rho square e plus uh, r square rho square p plus uh, x square uh, rho square q minus 2 rc e p minus uh, 2 x c e q plus uh, 2 r x c p when uh, adding distributed generation to the end of the feeder the voltage at the end of the feeder becomes u is equals to e minus r p plus uh, uh, r g minus x q where uh, g is the active power production by the generator the reactive power production by the generator is assumed uh, to be zero uh, without correlation between the variables the following expression holds uh, for expected value the standard deviation that is uh, uh, mu of u is equals to mu e minus uh, r mu p plus r mu g minus uh, x mu q so considering the co covariance uh, in the later expressions uh, for a medium voltage feeders we can assume that the voltage at the start of the feeder e is independent of current uh, through the feeder for a wind power we may further assume that the production is independent of consumption the expression for standard deviation uh, is simplifies uh, as as the as you can see that uh, u is equals to e minus rp plus uh, rg minus xq these are the uh, set of uh, equations that are describing our normal uh, distributions so moving on
in this session uh, we will use a limited set of uh, measurements just to illustrate how uh, stochastic model for the production can be used in a combination uh, with the measurements of uh, existing situations here uh, it should be noted that uh, uh, for a realistic study a whole uh, year uh, of data should be uh, more appropriate unless there are uh, there is a clear indications that uh, measurement of uh, period is typical for uh, the rest of year as well so in the figure i are showing that uh, voltage magnitude on uh, the secondary side of uh, 110 bar uh, 10 kv transformer the measurements were performed during uh, uh, almost 4 weeks period the voltage magnitude is obtained as the average of magnitudes of uh, three phase to ground voltage so it's the value given as a percentage of nor nominal voltage of 10 kv the transformer is equipped with the uh, on load tap changers aim to keep uh, the voltage between uh, 102.5% and uh, 106% of uh, nominal voltage both uh, the voltage and magnitude as a function of time and uh, probability distribution function for a voltage magnitude are uh, shown in the above figure the distribution of voltage is reasonably corresponds uh, with the uh, uniform distribution um, here uh, uh, a uniform distribution would give straight line um the mean mu m uh, and the standard deviation uh, rho e for a voltage magnitude are given as mu mu e is equals to 104.18% or uh, rho e is equals to 0.913% uh, the time variation and uh, probability distribution function of uh, active power and reactive power are uh, shown in this figure the active power is obtained as the sum of uh, active power per phase also the reactive power is obtained as the uh, sum of values per phase the distribution for active power shows the concentration around uh, the two values which is about 9 and uh, 15 megawatts note that uh, high uh, derivative of this probability distribution function corresponds to high concentration of values the mean uh, mu p and uh, standard deviation uh, rho p uh, of uh, the active powers the value are given by 13.105 megawatt for the rho p it is 2.743 megawatts so the mean mp mq and standard uh, deviation rho q of the reactive power uh, is given by uh, yeah mu q is equals to 3.80 mvr or rho q is equals to uh, 0.461 mvr although uh, the covariance can be immediately uh, seen in the expression which given in a previous section so the level of uh, correlation between the random variable is best uh, intercepted from the correlation uh, coefficient for random variable x and y the correlation is defined as uh, r of uh, x comma y is equals to c of x comma y rho of uh, uh, uh xy so we see that uh, both uh, reactive powers are uh, positively correlated whereas the voltage at the uh, start of the feeder is negatively correlated uh, with both active and reactive powers uh, uh, from the voltage at the start of the feeder and uh, feeder and the active power and reactive power uh, flowing through the feeder the voltage at the feeder can be calculated using that rxy formula rxy is equals to c of xy divided by rho of x and rho of y as the time uh, series of all the three parameters uh, the comparison between the two methods uh, for calculating the mean and standard deviation is made uh, uh, which is shown in the figure so the dashed line uh, the middle of the plot gives a mean value of the voltage magnitude so the star indicates uh, that uh, the values obtained from the calculated uh, time series uh, uh, the values are identical because uh, it holds first uh, stochastic variables the upper and lower solid lines will give uh, mu uh, v volts plus uh, rho volts and uh, uh, mu 
v minus uh, rho v uh, which are calculated from the set of equation that I have seen from our uh, previous slides whereas the triangle represents the values uh, which obtained from uh, calculated time series assuming uh, active and reactive power flow to be independent um, and under uh, in to be independent uh, the standard uh, deviation is underestimated here um, the voltage magnitude uh, but the probability uh, probability that will be uh, exceed certain limits for normal distribution so this probability calculated directly from uh, uh, mean and standard deviation however uh, here the voltage uh, magnitude is uh, not disturbed according to the uh, normal distribution the different in the percentile can also be calculated from uh, mean and uh, standard uh, deviation assuming that uh, they are uh, normal uh, distribution so the you can see here uh, in this graph so the difference in the part, uh, percentage can be calculated from uh, the mean and standard deviation assuming a uh, normal distribution where uh, one percentile for uh, uh, mu v is equals to 2.33 uh, rho v for 5 percentile it is uh, mu v is equals to 1.64 rho v uh, 95 percentile uh, mu v uh, plus 1.64 rho v 99 percent uh, it is uh, mu v plus uh, 2.33 rho v so all the uh, calculated value uh, in this way using the mean standard deviation uh, which will neglect the correlations and uh, the solid line the dashed line uh, are shown the difference between the values are uh, very small assuming that a normal distribution uh, for all the variables give a good indication of uh, a range in the voltage magnitude so these assumptions may be used in the design process as well moving on uh, we see uh, generation with uh, constant uh, production so whenever uh, adding a generator to the unit feeder the voltage at the end of the feeder will increase for a large amount of generation the voltage uh, magnitude may exceed this over voltage limit so most uh, generator units inject only active power so increase in the voltage takes place only over the resistance for a generator with uh, uh, active power production p gen the voltage at the end of the feeder is uh, given by u is equals to e minus p minus p gen uh, into r minus q into x so this voltage magnitude has been calculated for uh, same uh, time series of active and reactive power uh, which is used as uh, before and uh, for a feeder length which is equals to 5 kilometers the 1 comma 5 comma 95 and uh, uh, 99 percentile of the voltage magnitude are shown in the figure as a function of size of this generator unit so it has been assumed that uh, in calculation the voltage is boosted by 5 percent at the end of the feed for small amount of distributed generation the voltage quality actually improves uh, however when the uh, size of the generation units is uh, more uh, uh, unacceptable over uh, oh over whenever this over voltage occurs so this is indicated by one of the uh, again graph uh, so in the screen what you are seeing is in that graph implementation of this the graph so the this maximum uh, permissible amount of uh, distributed generation should be compared with active power consumption uh, which varies between uh, 7 and 18 megawatt so the hosting capacity is 55% uh, of peak load when over voltage uh, limit is set to 106 percent of its uh, uh, nominal voltage so uh, the hosting capacity is uh, thus 55 percent peak of load uh, when the over voltage limit is set, set to 106 percent the nominal voltage uh, by 110 percent so off peak load over a over voltage limit at uh, 110 percent for uh, comparison first uh, hosting capacity with respect to overload is the sum of uh, minimum and maximum load so which could be 25 megawatt or 125 percent of uh, peak load in this case so moving on see uh, we see the effect of this uh, adding wind power
probability uh, distribution function for an active power uh, production by the wind power uh, will be used to calculate the uh, probability of distribution function of voltage uh, which are experienced by our consumers as mentioned before the interest of uh, customers in uh, voltage magnitude uh, are not in power flow uh, in the network so it has been discussed uh, so with the use of uh, 5 kilometer uh, feeder uh, and a time series of this voltage at the starting of feeder for an active and reactive power consumption so the voltage at the end of the feeder uh, where the customers are connected uh, is given by the following expression so with all the parameters given in per unit uh, here u, u is equals to e, e minus r, r into p minus x into q plus r into p gen moving on uh, for the distribution of this uh, wind speed uh, a wind bull uh, distribution has been assumed here with a shape factor of uh, 2.1 and uh, average uh, wind speed which is equals to 7 meter per second is assumed the speed power curve for a 600 kV wind turbine uh, has been used to obtain the probability distribution function of the uh, generated power so as seen in our uh, module 2 the power curves are very similar uh, for the turbine for a different size so the hosting capacity uh, becomes independent uh, than the size of this uh, turbine which is uh, employed here for the generation so as in our uh, previous session uh, we were discussing some examples so this is the uh, range of voltage at uh, end of 5 km 5 kilometers so uh, there is a 5 with 5 percent boosting in voltage as a function of amount of wind is installed so maximum there will be 99 percent or 95 percent 50 percent 5 percent and 1 percent of the minimum value as in our previous section the boosting of uh, the voltage magnitude with 5 percent has been assumed the high voltage magnitude shows that some increase in the generator with constant production uh, the low level the low voltage magnitude however uh, do not show any increase at all connecting the wind power uh, to a feeder does not solve uh, any uh, under voltage problem uh, so it does not uh, however introduce a over voltage problem using 100% value as a limit the hosting capacity for uh, wind power is uh, the same as uh, the power generation with the constant uh, production using 95% uh, or 99% value the hosting capacity for uh, wind power is about uh, uh, 2 and 10 megawatt for uh, wind power uh, the hosting capacity is increased significantly when stochastic uh, performance criteria is employed uh, to for uh, calculating the hosting capacity so this is about uh, today's session so far uh, we have discussed so various uh, techniques uh, and some derivations that are related to probabilistic methods of designing the uh, distribution feeder in that uh, we have seen the necessity of this uh, probabilistic method or uh, need of this probabilistic method for hosting capacity and uh, we also studied the system uh, with that uh, block diagram and a few equation that is u is equals to e minus rp into xq a very important expression and we also seen that probability density and distribution function and we have seen that uh, distribution function of uh, random variables uh, which include some uh, equations and derivations uh, derivation you need to memorize and uh, mean and standard deviations and also normal distributions so at last we have studied this uh, stochastic calculations using measurements and uh, uh, the adding up of the effect of adding up of uh, wind power uh, generation with constant production etc